Hello everybody, welcome back to Sports Federation TV. Uh, we talk about sport in the Western Cape across the six districts and um, of course uh, a lot of amateur sport pretty much uh, pretty much dedicated to amateur sport amateur sport needs all the help it can get um, the big professional sports out there sometimes have their own TV shows so we thought we'll create a television show just for amateur sport the federations that are of course aligned within the Sascock structures the provincial structures and down to the districts joining me now of course is the president of life-saving South Africa Dylan Tommy Dylan welcome to Sport Federation TV Hi, I'm, I'm glad to be here and thank you for inviting us and it's good to be back actually. Yeah, well you just had two incredible young guys on the, on, and it was so difficult talking to them, we didn't quite get the full story. Eh? When, you, when I was speaking to you now on the side, you, you kind of gave me a little bit more insight as to the amount of danger that these two kids were in in Lundadna. Yeah, look the award was for bravery um, and during that rescue attempt, um, because of the cold water at Lundadna and the size of the waves, yeah. And the retrieval of the body was actually quite close to the rocks. And at one stage, Natan was actually going to get bashed into the rocks. Um, so it was a very dangerous situation that they put themselves in. And a, a lot of our lifeguards do that on a regular yeah, basis. Yeah. And that is why we established the Bravery Awards Committee. And they assess these events or yeah. rescues and decide on, we've got various levels. So there's letters of commendation, certificates of commendation, and the highest um, is a silver medallion that an outstanding brave um, act gets the, the silver medallion. Life Saving South Africa seems to have taken a bit of a turn in the last year. You've got new sponsors on board, um, you're making t-shirts at every occasion. <laughs> it looks like things are going well for Life Saving. Yeah, we, we were in a, in a tough spot, I think, with the economy at one stage. We were struggling to find corporate sponsors and luckily within the last year we signed the contract about six months ago um, general tire has come on as our national sponsor they mm. are a continental brand of tire um, they now sponsor our national championships and they've also put money into uh, what we call the water smart schools program yeah, yeah. so what that means is there's facilitators throughout the country including cape town and the western cape that will go to schools during this term um, because in the grade four school curriculum there's a particular chapter or section that they do during the third term where the learners have to learn about the dangers in and around water. Right. So what we've done is we've trained our lifeguards to go to the schools because we, I, we just felt it better that a trained lifeguard goes there and speaks to the learners about this instead of a teacher. Yes. Um, so over the next few weeks during this term, we target in 100 schools across the country. Um, and that is all thanks to the, the general tire sponsorship. So this is money that's really going into development and uh, community improvement. It's, it's not just at the top level stuff. That's fantastic. Yeah, so it's going to help the community and reduce the drowning in South Africa. And then another big portion of the sponsorship, um, all our lifeguards are volunteers. So part of the sponsorship is to provide each of those lifeguards with a t-shirt and the shorts instead of them having to pay for, for the uniform that they need to use. That's fantastic. Um, just during the break there, you were telling me that you got a new patron uh, for Life Saving South Africa, uh, Princess Charlene of Monaco, I believe. I mean, this is a fairly big name in the world of, well, in the world. Yeah. Look, um, we just made the announcement last night, so it's fresh, hot off the press. Um, and she has well, no, no, but before we go down this road, you know, what, what did one of you make a phone call? You, you phoned the royal palace and you okay. said, can I speak to the princess? Uh, princess, will you be the <laughs> How did you guys come up with this? OK, look, we uh, she's after Olympics and she got married to the Prince of Monaco. She started a foundation. Uh, called the Princess Charlene of Monaco Foundation, which focuses on... I mean, yeah. if you're going to call it, you might as well call it your own your foundation. Your own foundation, yeah. yeah. And it focuses on, on preventing drowning, basically. Yeah. So there's a learn to swim component and a water safety component. So a few, about two years ago, she created a branch here in South Africa. And in, about a year ago, we started to talk to the branch because we just felt it was better to work together. Yeah. Um, in terms of reducing drowning and, and the water safety. So I think earlier in this year, uh, uh, Serena Ines is the correct title. Have you met her? I've met, that's where I was in getting to. Yeah. Yeah. So she came out to South Africa as part of her foundation's work. Um, and as part of the, the talks, we, I attended a function where I got to meet her. Um, and then at that function, she was happy and to meet me and 
you know, she's heard about what we do, and she expressed the, the desire to be the godmother of life saving South That's Africa. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have godmother yeah. status, <laughs> but we do have a, a position as a patron. So yes. we have this honorary position. And so immediately after that meeting, I drafted the letter and sent it through to the palace, uh, requesting her to serve as the Did patron. Did you write on the letter, um, the palace, Monaco? <laughs> Um, was, was, <laughs> no, I, I just you just use a name and, and nowadays <laughs> everything's via email. It just so arrives. Yeah, so I sent it via email. You just sent it a Monaco address, the princess. Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then um, <laughs> it came back a couple, two weeks back. I got, I got after that I got an email from a assistant or a representative yeah. saying the yeah. princess agreed to it. And then last night, the reason we did the announcement last night was uh, brothers out here for part of a foundation. They do. Um, water safety and rugby and he's out here for a rugby exchange in Durban yeah. so last night we handed over a certificate to him to thank her for accepting the role as the patron yeah. and along with that um, patronage um, there's a, a gentleman who's the president of a foundation in South Africa Gavin Varigis um, and yes, he's of course been involved with the, sh with, with the Sharks yeah. and, and um, the, the uh, SA the Rugby Legends. That's correct, yes. yeah. He's involved with the SA Rugby Legends, the SA Surfing Legends, and he's quite a well-known businessman. Yes, so yeah. through his businesses and these organizations, the Foundation and the Rugby and Surfing Legends, legends he his organizations have donated 200 rescue boards to life saving south africa right. so each club we've got 86 and actually today we just accepted another two so it's 88 life saving clubs so each of those clubs will get two of these rescue boards so next summer when natan and um natan and steven on the beach they'll have these boards to go out and do the rescue oh, fantastic yeah so we're very grateful to them as well for the donation um because it's going to go there's some clubs that do struggle to raise funds yeah. To, to provide the equipment they need. So this will go a long way to helping us achieve our aim of reducing drowning in South Africa. Tell us a little bit, uh, as we start wrapping up now, tell us a little bit about the um, um, the events that you've got coming up. SA Champs, uh, Provincial Champs. I mean, it's the middle of winter now. Yeah, look, that, as the, the two guys mentioned, especially in the Cape area, so the Eastern Cape and the Western Cape, uh, the club still train, but we don't actually do patrols on the beaches or any sport. Um, it generally starts from the 1st of November and yeah. runs through to the Easter weekend. In KZN, obviously, they've got better weather, so they're still on, on patrol and still doing things. So in terms of next events, we've got a national team going to New Zealand in December. Um, it's called the International um, Surf Rescue Classic. So we've got a junior and a senior team participating in yeah. that, and we're hoping to do, do well in that. And then for next year's nationals, we've decided in the past we've had four different nationals. I think I mentioned that in my last time I was here, where we have the kiddies, which are 8 to 15, then juniors and seniors. We have a pool championship, and then we have a master's championship. So for the first time next year, we're going to bring everyone together into one venue. Next year's venue is Port Elizabeth. I was about to ask, because the last time you had in the Strand last year. The, no, the most recent event was in Camps Bay in March. Right. The, the juniors and seniors took place here in Camps Bay, and the nippers were, was in Port Elizabeth. So we're bringing everyone together, and we're expecting over 2,000 competitors at that combined yeah. event, and it will be over six days. And are the, the, the Western Cape athletes are, of course, walking away with all the medals? Um, the current uh, national <laughs> club <laughs> championships, no, they are, it's Fishuk um, in the senior division. Yeah. So they, they are dominated, dominating in the Nipper section. Um, the N Natal clubs are doing well at the moment. Yeah, but that was but just luck. That, that's just luck. What? Well, N Natal the, win. Yeah, the Natal yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I always tend to root more for, for the Western Cape clubs <laughs> have been you based shouldn't be saying that I mean you're the president no, no, I think, I think they're gonna, if you, you might have a few of your members ask you if you're favouring your, your home no, team I, I, I try to be fair and I, and I, and <laughs> I try to get to know everyone and meet everyone and, and but do you have to I mean if you live in Cape Town you yeah. support the Stormers you support the Cobras you definitely. support the Southern Stings yeah. on our netball side and so yeah definitely when, you, when you're out there you, your roots um, yeah. do, does come to the fore and yeah, yeah you yeah. do uh, tend to support your local teams more than you do others. Yeah. But as a role of president, I, I'm glad to see where life saving is going. Um, the clubs all over the country are doing well. And as I said, we're opening new clubs all the time. We're busy working with a group in Malkpos on the West Coast in Lambert's Bay as well. Uh, so things are looking good. We also have just started talks with a group in, in Khans Bay um, in the Overberg district. So 
we're hoping to have three new clubs in the Western Cape next time I'm here. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, I was going to ask you now what's next for, for, for life saving, but it sounds to me you guys are doing so well at the moment. That, that, that you probably now just have to make sure that everything keeps working. As yeah, that a, as a, I mean, you're not targeting the next big thing. I mean, you've got a big sponsor now. You've got the, the princess on board as well. Uh, new clubs. I mean, you've got your hands full. Look, in terms of the sport, we I think we're on track and we're moving in the right direction. Our lifeguards are ready, and as you can hear, they continue training even through yeah. winter. What happens is just before the start of summer, they all get retested, so they go through a physical mm. test. We check if they can do CPR and, and those kind of things, so they're ready when when the season starts. But I think our next big thing, big thing is to get that number of schools up. We want to hit as many schools, so we're also going to do our content that we got that going forward we want to digitize it yeah. so that schools that we can't reach can download the content and use it within their classroom so there's videos being created and and digital um, content that the schools can use and that's the next project that we're working on and then long term next projects in 2019 South Africa or I serve in South Africa will host the World Conference on Drowning Prevention oh, really? that's a so big that idea. is another big thing that we're working on yeah, yeah. so um, we're not sitting back and saying yeah, right yeah. we've we've, we've I mean, got the sponsors like that, you and can't that, wait until the night yeah. before before so there, yeah. there's lots still to be done and, and we've got lots of work ahead of us Talon we're going to leave it at that thanks for joining us on Sports Federation TV it's fantastic having you here as always, life saving doing obviously fantastic, especially a, a sport uh, which is made up so much of volunteers. And you guys are doing a great job. Yeah, great. Thanks for having me again, and it was nice being here. Lekker. All right, folks, uh, as I mentioned to you earlier on, Bashus is, of course, on board with Sports Federation TV. Um, I'm <laughs> Every time I pick up this can, or, or I think I keep having memories and flashbacks of that old truck that used to, or Bucky that used to come past the house and drop off. Did you drink bashes when you were a kid? Yeah, no, we bought those, those crates those of, of bashes. Yeah. yeah. Every Sunday they come past our house and we'd, we'd refill our, our crates. Yeah. You have to swap yeah. the bottles and you've got to maybe wash them a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> get yeah. a new crate. No, definitely. Uh, it's a, 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 I mean, yeah, in the Cape as a, as a, as a institution. Absolutely, it's old. I mean, it's eighteen ninety nine. Goes. I think it's the oldest cooling in South Africa, folks. By the way, so they've got pineapple, raspberry, and I believe a lot of people are saying the ginger beer is originally the best ginger beer you can find. Iron brew, and of course the cola and the orange and the cream soda. <coughs> I'm not quite sure which one I like. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm heading towards the pineapple and the raspberry. Those are kind of where, where I'm at in, in the favourite section. Um, but yeah, every time I look at this, I keep thinking of this. The, the I, in fact, at some stage there was even a horse cart that would come round past, past the house, and, and uh, we would go out with the old kissy and the glass bottles and and change a few pennies, and we'd get our new one, and that kissy would go back, and next week would be the same thing. The, so Bashus is certainly a, a household institution in. In, um, in, in the Western Cape. All uh, right, if you want to win yourself a case of Bashu's energy, uh, 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 cool drinks, then simply need to SMS the word Bashu's um, uh, to 33090. Bashu's, SMS that word Bashu's to 33090, and uh, you put yourself in the mix to win a case. Congratulations to last week's winner, Mary Turner. Mary, uh, congratulations, you're this week's winner. Uh, somebody from Sports Federation TV is going to be in touch with you shortly and uh, you are walking away with a case of uh, bash shoes. Folks, when we come back after the break, we'll be speaking to Jonathan Williams. He is the current South African uh, semi-contact and full contact champion um, in the style of Kyo Cushion. They recently went up to um, Polokwane to compete in the South African National Championships. When he joins us, we'll find out a little bit more about the style and the competition uh, that they recently had and, of course, co future competitions coming up. Back in a sec. <laughs> 